Alright, this is North Carolina Prepper. I've had a setback. Um, this thing was running about 55 degrees with no load on it, or Celsius. And you can look at the chip here. I don't think I'll show you, but it's all... Came all... There you go. Came all scratched up, so... I cleaned it up. <clears throat> got their thermal paste off. I don't have any good thermal paste right now, so I'm using Arctic Silver 3, which is kind of old. Now it's 5. Uh, the water cooling I bought wouldn't fit in the top of this case. There's not enough, there's not enough clearance up there between the motherboard and the, the top there. It's very, very thin. And I need at least an inch for the fans and an inch for the radiator, so that ain't going to happen. So we're going to go with the uh, ADI and put it in the back there, the Corsair. But for right now, I'm going to just go ahead and put the Arctic Silver on there and I clean it off. So I'm going to go ahead and use a credit card and do the star pattern on how to apply thermal paste. This is from the AMD website. Different chips have different ways to apply it, I guess. I've always just done it like this, but <clears throat> for the 8 core ones, on the FX, uh, FX uh, 8530, this is how you're supposed to do it. And basically a star pattern. So you put on there a dot or a P size, and you take your card, which I'm using a game card here, and we'll just spread it out. And this is the old one, so this is conductive, so we have to be careful. Now we'll just try to thin it out. All the way. And that is actually an ideal spread. Okay, so... We'll go ahead and take that, and we'll uh, go ahead and put the chip on, or the CPU cooler, I guess. Put that on right here. We'll just put this chip back on now, or this old cooler, which will be replaced in about two weeks, I guess. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to give a little wiggle, just to make sure everything's good. The contact and then I'll lock it in and we should be good to go now so let's uh, go over here and plug this back in all right so let me boot it up and check our temps all right back. so here we are at 42 degrees just about six degrees above the motherboard temperature where we were running at 52 degrees and these chips tend to shut down or, or scale back at 62 so this is just idling with almost no CPU running right now at about I guess we're about 2% just barely running so that's where we're at right now um, focus is. so there we go that's how you put on thermal paste um, like I said when we do water cooling we'll do another upgrade but how to get the thermal paste on here and change that because I think it's horribly scratched up. Alright, Zerkman Prepper, please rate, subscribe, and great day, everybody. Thanks.